Unexplained symptoms like fatigue, weight gain, and frequent hunger could be early warning signs of insulin resistance, a condition that often comes before diabetes type 2, and every African needs to know this. Being an African where majority of our foods are high in carbohydrate and sugar, it is important to be aware of the signs that your body might not be processing these foods like the shoes. Hey, lava! Welcome to Let's Talk Diabetes with Mirabi Kono. If you are new here, I am a registered nurse and a certified diabetes educator. On this channel, we talk everything about diabetes management, how to manage blood sugar levels, and also nursing. I would like to start with a joke. So, this young boy ran up to an elderly man and said to him, Excuse me, sir. What do you call a diabetic athlete? Then the elderly man turned, looked at him and said, Sweet runner. Now let's dive into the early warning signs of insulin resistance that every African needs to know. But first things first, let's understand what is insulin resistance so that when you see these early signs, you can be able to identify them. In simple terms, insulin resistance is when your body cell, that is muscle cell, liver cell and fat cells don't respond to insulin, which is the hormone that helps to open the door for glucose, aka sugar, to enter your body cells and be used as energy. When you have insulin resistance, your sugar levels remain high and over time develops into diabetes type 2. One of the earlier signs of insulin resistance is fatigue or tiredness. Do you often feel tired after a full night's sleep? This can be an indication of insulin resistance. Before you ask me how, let me break it down. Under normal condition, insulin helps cells absorb sugar from the blood to be used as energy. In insulin resistance, cells don't respond well to insulin, which means glucose isn't taken up by the cells as it should. This leads to less energy available for the cells to be used, resulting to fatigue or tiredness. In addition, because glucose, aka sugar, remains in the bloodstream rather than being absorbed by the cells, their body may even signal for more insulin to be produced, aggravating the problem leading to high blood sugar levels, which in turn will cause fatigue or tiredness. Another common sign every African needs to know is weight gain, especially around the abdomen. Have you noticed your waistline expanding despite no changes in your diet or exercise routine? Then this can be due to a combination of factors involving the body's metabolism and how it processes certain nutrients such as fats and glucose. These factors include 1. Inefficient glucose use. High insulin levels can lead to hunger and reduce energy expenditure, contributing to weight gain. 2. Fat storage. With insulin resistance, the body's natural balance shifts towards storing fat rather than burning fats for energy, resulting to accumulation of fat around the stomach area. Before we move to sign number three, take a minute to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also give this video a thumbs up. That is your own way of supporting me to keep creating educative videos like this, which will send a positive signal to you too to recommend my videos to many more people. Thank you as you do so. God bless you. With that being said, we could jump into sign number three where all Africans are supposed to know. And sign number three now with you. Frequent hunger and craving, especially sugary and starchy foods. So, even though there is plenty of glucose in the blood due to insulin resistance, the cells can assess it properly. And this sends a signal to the brain that they need more energy, 
leading to a hunger feeling. The fourth sign of insulin resistance that every African needs to know is that insulin resistance can also affect your eyesight, causing blurring vision or difficulty in concentration. When blood sugar levels are consistently high due to insulin resistance, the body tries to eliminate excess glucose through urine, which can lead to dehydration. This dehydration can also affect the tissues of the eyes, causing the lenses to swell and change shape, leading to difficulty in concentration, thus blurry vision. Also, high blood sugar levels over time can damage the blood vessels in the retina. That is the light sensitive layer tissue at the back of the eyes, leading to diabetic retinopathy. Sign number five is if you are experiencing frequent headache, especially after meals high in carbohydrate, it could be your body's way of signaling insulin resistance. High blood sugar levels can lead to increased urination as the body attempts to eliminate excess glucose from your bloodstream, which can result in dehydration, a common cause of headaches. In addition to the above mentioned point, high blood sugar levels can cause headache in some people. Number six sign of insulin resistance that every African needs to know is to pay attention to your heart rate or heart if you notice that your heartbeat is faster than usual, especially after eating, this could be a warning sign that your body is struggling to process glucose, other known as insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is often associated with weight gain and obesity that put extra strain on the heart. The heart has to work harder to pump blood throughout the large body mass, which can lead to an increased heart rate or heartbeat. Six early signs of insulin resistance that every African needs to know. One, fatigue or tiredness. Two, weight gain. Three, blurry vision or difficulty in concentration. Four, hunger or craving. Five, headaches and six increased heartbeats if you are experiencing any of these signs do not ignore them early detection and management of insulin resistance can help to prevent serious health complications be proactive about your health and talk to a healthcare provider if you are concerned about your health so guys that was it for today if this video was helpful like share and also subscribe to this channel for more educative diabetes content. I see you on my next video. Until then, stay well and stay healthy. Salut! Die.